What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at how to paint an Eldar Shadow Seer. There's quite a lot to go over so I'll split it up into three videos. This one will show how to do the fade to black diamonds, the gold and the gemstones. Part 2 will go into the yellow purple fades and then in part 3 we'll tackle the base. Alright so on our palette here we have black, deep blue, this is from Scale Color, it's a very dark blue, you can use any dark blue you like. Again just use your favourite bright blue. A saturated red, Sahara yellow, so this is basically a yellow ochre. And you can get the same sort of colour by mixing a bit of Avalon Sunset into Xandri Dust. Or if you have it, you can use Vallejo Japanese Uniform. Then we have Rhinox Hide. Mars Orange, again just use any bright orange, Vallejo Ivory, and some white. To start off we'll be using some deep blue and some sky blue. Now we're going to do a wet blend, so if you've never tried this before, the basic principle is to place one colour on the model, and then while it's still wet, grab the next colour and move the paint into the other, allowing them to mix. And then by keeping the brush moving back and forth, you can pull the colour across the surface, forming a blend between the two. Alright, so start with the dark blue on the lower part of the leg. And then we'll quickly grab some light blue and begin mixing them together. So just keep going back and forth, adding more of either the dark or the light tone until you get the blend that you're looking for. Just make sure to keep the brush moving and you can't go wrong. When it dries, you can clean up any flaws with a bit of a glaze. So in this case, the thigh is a little bit patchy, so what we'll do is make a glaze of our bright blue. And simply glaze over these areas. Now we're going to paint the foot black and we'll fade the bottom of the leg into the foot by making a glaze with black. And then simply glazing towards the foot. Alright, so we'll essentially do the same thing on the other leg, except this time we'll use a red and a dark red, which we'll make by adding some black to the red. Now we're going to wet blend again, placing the dark red towards the top of the leg this time, and we're going to create a fade into the brighter red towards the foot. Again, try and keep the paint moving until you get the blend that you want. If you mess this up, don't worry too much, just let it dry and then give it another go. So to paint the diamonds what we'll do is we'll take some black and we'll paint thin diagonal lines over the leg, making sure that these are parallel to each other and evenly spaced. Alright so just continue that over the entire leg. Once you've done that you're going to turn the model round and do the same thing in the opposite direction and that's going to give you these diamond shapes. And again, just continue that over the entire leg. So 
So once that's finished, we're going to fill in the diamonds. Try and stay within the lines, but if you do make a mistake, you can just use your blue tones to clean up the edges. We're going to move on to the gold now, so just take some of your Sahara yellow and add a little black. Now we're going to draw this up over the surface to where we want the, the highlight to be. You want to actually create a bit of a fade into this, so don't use it as a base colour as such. You want to look at it as more of an initial highlight over the black base. So the highlight is going to be here in the middle of these two bands on the belt. and on the lower corner of these little funky bits at the side. And then we'll do the same sort of thing on the other side. We'll switch over to Sahara Yellow now and we'll start building up our highlight. So again we're going to focus on those same points we did before but we'll try and cover a smaller surface area. Alright, so now we're going to mix in some ivory and continue to highlight. So once we've finished our highlight, we're going to make a glaze with Rhinox Hide and we're going to use this to glaze towards the black sections. Mm -hmm. 
To finish off, we'll add some very small highlights with white. For the gemstones, we're going to base in the same dark red that we used on the leg. Switch over to your bright red and paint a U-shaped highlight following the curve along the lower edge of the gemstone. You'll need to do this in a couple of layers before the red starts to stand out. Use some of your orange paints and add a smaller highlight along the bottom edge of the gem. Add some white and simply highlight again. Now just use some white to add a very small dot on the upper edge of the gemstone. Alright, so that's the end of part one. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments section and I'll see you all in part two. Thanks again. Bye for now.